So what we need to see, we're going to carry on with 6.1 now. Six point, we're going to carry on with 6.1. We are in 6.1, relativity of motion. So what we need to see is this is really governs our um, calculations of relative motion. So what, is, what does this equation tell us? Well, first of all, the first thing that I want to just highlight is if you see something that says VAO, for example, then what this means is O is the object that's moving and we are measuring it in reference frame A. Here, O is the object that's moving. For example, it's the car, right? The car is moving, but in which reference frame are we looking at it? We it is the object moving now and we're measuring it in reference frame B. What about this thing here? Well, it is reference frame B measured relative to reference frame A. So this is O relative to A, the object moving relative to reference frame A. This is reference frame B relative to A. And this is, this is object O, velocity of object O relative to B. And, and it's the velocities, right? It's the velocity of O, it's the velocity of the reference frame, and it's the velocity of, of the object. As you can see, we're measuring O in this reference frame, B, and, in, and O in reference frame A. Okay, so we saw in this case, we saw that depending on your reference frame, the velocity changes, right? The velocity changes depending on your reference frame. Okay, so... What does this mean? If we have a reference frame A, say this is just you standing there view, uh, viewing something and you see a car moving with a certain velocity and then there's another person there standing stationary, B. Let's call him B and you're A. Okay? Now, Say now you're going at a zero velocity and B is going at a zero velocity. Okay, it's not moving at all. But V is going at say 10 meters per second. What this is saying is that if I want to know what is the velocity of this object O relative to my reference frame A, then I need to know what is the velocity of reference frame B relative to A and I need to know what is the relative velocity of the object O relative to B. Okay? So O relative to A is O relative to this reference frame. B relative to A is this reference frame's velocity relative to A. And then O relative to B is this velocity relative to reference frame B. So intuitively, we know that our answer should be, if this thing is going at 10 meters per second, it should be going at 10 meters per second. So this should be 10. But let's try and prove it using this simple example. If, if B is just standing still and A is standing still, what is the velocity of B relative to A? It should be zero, right? because there's no relative velocity between these two. Then what about the, rel the velocity of, of the object relative to B? Well, imagine this, this person is just standing still and the car is moving at 10 meters per second. So this has to be 10. So VAO equals 10. Equals 10. All right. Now what if what if things changed and V and the velocity of B was 2 meters per second? Okay? So, we still want the velocity of AO, of this relative to A, but now we have a different VAB. It is 2 meters per second relative to A. And now, what, do you th what is VOB? What is that going to be? Well, we know that if this object is moving at 10 and this reference frame is moving at 2, then 
it would see this object actually moving at 8. Does that make sense? Imagine this reference frame is moving at 2 meters per second, and this object's moving at 10 meters per second. Then it's, in effect, what this reference frame sees is that this object's moving at 8 meters per second. So then, you would have VAO, which is O relative to A, is then equal to 2 meters per second, because this is the this is the relative velocity of reference frame B relative to A. Okay, so that's 2 plus the velocity of O relative to B, which is 8, which is still equals 10 meters per second. Okay, so we're going to be seeing this equation a lot in this, um, in this chapter. And then, of course, you can rearrange this to solve. Say now you had VAO, you knew what that was. And say you wanted to find out what VOB was. You can rearrange this. You can say VBO is equal to VAO minus VAB. So the velocity of O in the reference frame B is then the velocity of O in the reference frame A minus the relative velocities of the reference frames, B relative to A, which then would be 10 minus 2 equals 8 meters per second. So in this second case, the velocity of the object in reference frame B is 8 meters per second, positive. Okay? Hope that introduction is, is, uh, is uh, getting you somewhere. See you in the next one.